Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about integration by parts. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the integral of x squared cosine of 3x dx, and we have to evaluate this indefinite integral using the integration by parts. Now, we first want to find a u and a dv value. So given this problem right here, I'm thinking I'm going to put my u value to be x squared and my dv value to be cosine of 3x dx. So with that, we need to find a du and a v value. So integral, uh, sorry, the derivative of u, uh, so du is a 2x dx. Integral of dv, so the integral of cosine of 3x is a one-third sine of 3x, okay? So let's go with this and let's go apply our formula here. We have a u and a dv value written right here, okay? And this is a cosine of 3x if you haven't noticed that, right? Little parentheses here, okay? So u times v, u, x squared, v value, right, is one-third sine of 3x. Subtracted by the integral of our v value, which is one-third uh, sine of 3x, times our du value, which is a 2x dx. Okay, so let's go simplify this where we can, okay? Simplifying it out, we're gonna pull out, or combine this to be a fraction, so we have x squared times the sine of 3x here, over three, minus, I'm gonna pull out that one-third, or actually two-thirds, right? The two here and the one-third, so we have a two-thirds, comes out, let's pull out the constants, and we're left with, again, kind of rearranging this, an x times the sine of 3x dx. Hmm. And this one's a little tricky. It's like, well, wait a minute. We already did our du, our u, du, v, dv, and we still have another thing that doesn't really look neater. Well, let's go do it again. All right, let's do it again. Who says we can't integrate by parts a second time? So let's set our u value here to be an x, the first one, and that makes our du equal to one dx, pretty good. Our dv value is a sine of three x dx. And that makes our v value, well the integral of sine of three x is a negative one third cosine of three x. Okay, apply that again here. Okay, so we keep everything over. Let's try to write a little smaller so we can save everything. Sine of 3x over 3 minus 2 thirds stays out here. But now we're going to apply our formula. And I like to put a little bracket here to show that a 2 thirds thing is applied to everything. All right, so the integral of x sine of 3x dx, we're using our formula. Our u value here, and this time, is just an x value. So we have x times our v value, which is a negative 1 third cosine. 3x, then we subtract, right, the, by the integral of a v value, which was a negative one-third cosine of 3x, and our du value here is a 1 dx, and it's nice and neat now, <sighs> and don't forget the close bracket, okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to kind of do a lot of steps in once here, so we have x squared minus the sine of 3x, that's a 3, over three minus, we're gonna distribute this two thirds to both parts as we keep going here, okay? So two thirds times a negative one third gives us, oh, it's a negative two thirds, sorry, times a negative one third, almost messed that up there, and we have a two ninths. So we have a two in the numerator, we have x cosine of three x, don't forget the ninths in the denominator. Plus, now notice I said plus, I wanna pull out that constant, negative one third comes out here, Right, or sorry, <laughs> negative two thirds times a negative here is a positive two thirds. This is why I did it. Then we're going to pull out that negative one third. Now, the integral, ignore that negative one third here. The integral of cosine of three x, well, we already found that. That is a one third sine of three x right here. And then we have a plus c. Okay, all this work, let's see if we can fit it in up here. Okay, so we have an equal sign, so it all kind of fits. Hopefully, you can get it all in there. Again, the beginning's the same. I have to do two lines here, but take your time. x squared minus the sine of 3x over 3 minus. The second one stays the same. 
2x times the cosine of 3x over 9. And I'm going to know I'm going to go off, so I'm going to add it here. So remember, this is all one function here, or equation. We multiply this out. We have 2 times a negative 1 times a 1 is a negative 2, so we have actually minus here. We have minus a 2 sine of 3x over our denominator, 3 times 3 times 3, 27, plus c. And so all of this is my final answer. x squared minus sine of 3x over 3 minus 2x times the cosine of 3x over 9 minus 2 times sine of 3x over 27 plus c. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.